This is a five on your side local news update. Weather first meteorologist Jim Castillo here. It is a beautiful day, but at the same time, right at the surface, we are now not only seeing some ground level ozone, but also some of that wildfire smoke aloft is making it down to the surface. So an air quality alert is in effect for a large part of the area. That includes St. Charles County, St. Louis County, Franklin Jefferson County, St. Louis City, and then in Illinois, Monroe, St. Clair, and Madison counties. So it's orange. It's been orange in many areas throughout the day. Even outside of this area, we've had yellow, which is just below that orange, but it's un unhealthy for sensitive groups. And uh, levels of ozone is up there and also a little bit of that wildfire smoke making it down to the surface here. So difficulty breathing for some, yeah, that's a big issue. And we're seeing that not only today, uh, but probably through the early evening hours till 8 p.m. when that air quality alert finally is allowed to expire. So right now you can see that haze in the sky. Upper levels of the atmosphere, it's that milky white haze, and that's that wildfire smoke. And at the surface, that mixture of ozone and wildfire smoke together. So it's 88 degrees on top of that, but notice that humidity is 27%, so very dry air in place. The dew point is going up. It's at about 50 now. It's a little bit higher than what we've been seeing over the past 24 hours and we have a nice calm wind and 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 then unfortunately that's what helps trap the pollutants and not only the wildfire smoke but the ozone right at the surface without that wind we we have that piling up so current temperatures right now upper 80 st charles and warrenton 86 in alton greenville illinois the hot spot at about 90 flora you're at about 86 right now and 83 in sparta illinois so the next 12 hours here, especially around the St. Louis area, uh, temperatures in the upper 80s, even at 5 o'clock, and then probably near 80 at 9 o'clock. And notice the chance of precip, very limited. There is a cold front coming through here, a little bit more on that coming up, and it would it should make it through here by tomorrow morning. But the wildfire smoke, we have more wildfires. Remember, a couple weeks ago, it was uh, western portions of Canada and British Columbia and Alberta, and now it's eastern and southeastern Canada. And that smoke with that easterly and northeasterly wind has been pushing into our area all the way back into Kansas. So that's something we've been watching for sure. And uh, that front coming in tonight into tomorrow morning may help that a little bit. All right, 84 degrees for that average high temperature. We're already above that. 97, by the way, the record back in 1934. We're not expecting a record, but those, uh, you know, the, even the overnight lows tonight closer to that 65 degrees. So a little bit more humid. You'll notice that, but it's still dry air. Not a lot of moisture to work with as this front comes right out of uh, Canada and then the Great Lakes and then backdoor cold front, we call it, because it backs in from Illinois and pushes into to Missouri. And again, limited moisture around this. We have noticed the dew points going up a little bit. I'll step out of the way so we can show you this. 64 dew points, a lot more moisture around Kansas City and Joplin. The higher the number here, the more moisture to work with. Chicago does have a dew point closer to 60, but notice Rolla, Farmington, Cape Girardeau, Mount Vernon. Uh, dew points are in the 40s, so not as much moisture to work with, but enough to give us that chance of spotty showers and maybe a rumble of thunder in here. So as that front backs into the area by tomorrow morning, not everybody's going to see it, but maybe some spotty showers, rumble of thunder in here. There is cooler air that will move in eventually from this. But again, watching that rain chance early morning into the early afternoon, and then the cool air comes in and we dry out once again, lowering, lowering the dew point and that humidity level, you'll notice that also goes down as we get into the uh, uh, Thursday forecast and also Friday. So 84 for Wednesday, 81 on Thursday and the better chance of rain early Wednesday and then dry Thursday, Friday, then a better chance of seeing widespread showers and storms, maybe Saturday night into Sunday. We cool down Sunday to 81. This has been a five on your side local news update.